welcome to Conversations with Masesi, where my guests and I talk about everything life, family, love, community, and everything in between. Building a support network to address food insecurity and ensure that no one goes to bed hungry in our, our community requires a coordinated effort. Today, I'm joined by somebody who's special in our community and knows what it's like to coordinate food distribution in the community. Welcome, Danielle, and thank you for joining us on Conversations. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, our viewers might be wondering who you are. Please let them know who you are and what, what you do. For sure, so I'm Danielle Triolo. I am a program facilitator within the charity organization Never Hungry Saskatoon. And with Never Hungry Saskatoon, there are other groups that uh, I also help manage. Mm -hmm. And other than that, what else do you do? I, I'm a full-time mom. Yes, <laughs> wonderful <laughs> girl. She's my son, uh, you know, she's my whole life. Yes. And I also work at Light of the Prairies as a direct support worker. Wow, you are very busy with all that you do. Please talk to us about, you know, that um, thing that we have, food insecurity in our community. So from my experience, no matter where you live, mm -hmm. people experience food insecurity. Yes. Myself, I live in a rural community mm -hmm. where there are no access to any um, food banks or anything like that. Uh, until I created one in the town, yeah. actually. And then in Saskatoon itself, I know you can utilize the food bank twice a month, mm -hmm. which it's, it's great, it's super helpful, but there does seem to be a gap in which how much people need and yes. the assistance that's offered. Okay, and now talking about that gap, how did you guys realize the gap and say, hey, let's start Never Hungry Saskatoon? So uh, with that, the creator of Never Hungry Saskatoon yeah. is uh, Bo Blackman. Yes. And he's a wonderful individual. He mm. saw that there was families and children in need going without. And at first, he created the group yes. just with 50 of his own friends wow. that wanted to also help the community. Yeah. And so at first, it was him and his friends buying things to distribute to families in need. But since then, since the six years that he has ran the group, it has progressed into something so beautiful. Yes. Dozens of, of people donate to the group. Uh, they hold food drives within schools mm -hmm. and then coordinate with us to drop it off. We pick it up and then we make boxes or hampers. Yeah. They're called uh, up to families that are in need. You, you just mentioned this group has been here for six years. Yes and you've been distributing food to people. So give us a background to say how many people are involved in the distribution part, how many people are involved in maybe coordinating who gets food when, because you know when there's a need, sometimes things need to be prioritized. And I think you're the brain behind it. <laughs> oh, no, that's kind of you to say thank you. I, uh, I definitely am passionate about this and yes. it, it takes a village. There is a wonderful admin team that, that I'm a part of. Yes. There are other individuals that help with the financial part of it. And then um, we have teams that donate things to the houses that we have uh, in, our, in our system on a list. Oh, wow. So to be part of those that get help, is there some screening that needs to be done? How do you identify who needs help? So it depends uh, what group you fall in. If you are a family with children, yes. if you are a senior, or um, there are other programs that we have uh, through Light of the Prairies yeah. that, that help individuals that way. And there is a screening process for the group. You basically just have to be open and honest and answer the questions that are listed when you join the, the charity. and. That's about it. And if I want to be a donor then? Oh yes, anybody that would like to donate mm -hmm. uh, time, resources yeah. that we welcome them with open arms. Any religion, any 
person, we do not uh, turn you away. Yes, and they, they don't have to go through a questionnaire. That's correct. Okay. Now, you mentioned how you serve the community, and you, that includes children, that includes seniors. How do you advertise all that you do? I found the easiest and quickest way is social media. Okay. Definitely use, uh, utilizing social media mm -hmm. is uh, we're able to reach far more people. And then when we create posts and share it on yeah. Facebook, for instance, we reach a certain amount of people and then those people share it within their own support systems. Yes. So then it reaches so many more communities and uh, it's, it's been great that way. You know, the work that you guys do is so wonderful, so remarkable. However, I want you to talk to us about how you help children. Based on your social media account, I've seen how you fundraised for back to school. Yes. I know somebody might be thinking it's still summer, but we know that is coming. How is that done? When do you do it? What kind of help do you need? So back to school is definitely quickly approaching. Mm -hmm. With that, last fall, I created a program, a kids school supplies program. Yes. And we were able to partner with other individuals in the community that wanted to help make uh, boxes for families that were otherwise going to go without. Yes. Um, as a child myself, coming from low income and mm -hmm. rough situations, I am very passionate about giving children an opportunity to have the best life possible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my school life was home away from home, so to speak. I loved school. And so with that, we were able to help uh, one school in the city and 50 different families. Whoa. So I love that. It was great. It was So beautiful. anybody who wants to give to that, please go ahead. Give us your donation button. Yes, please. <laughs> Even <laughs> even if it's not a uh, monetary value, because I know yeah. times are hard in this economy. Yeah, that's if, true. if anybody would, would like to come and help sort through things, because there was a lot yes. of sorting that, that had to be done, um, or even delivering, because a lot of time the people who are in need don't have transportation. Wow, because I think that's how um, my family got connected with Never Hungry Saskatoon. My son just got licensed, and you know, how do you get to know the city without driving around? So. We had that connection with Bo, and he was going around delivering. So to all the parents out there, you have a new driver in the house. They need to put in some hours. Send them to Never Hungry Saskatoon. Give us your guys' handle on social media so people can go there, go sign up, or go look at what you're doing. Sure. It is Never Hungry Saskatoon. Mm -hmm. uh, if you search that in Facebook, the group should come up. Yes. And there are other groups as well that that you can join depending on what their need is yeah but never Hung hungry saskatoon gave birth to something else we have never hungry kids yes what does that entail so with never hungry kids Bo realized that in families a lot of the time kids don't have say in w where the resources go oh yeah and so with that, we wanted to create a group that focused on kids because yeah. we have a group that, you know, helps adults. But that's right. What about kids? What about kids? And so with that, he kind of gave me the leeway to make it my baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's been great um, just being able to see the smiles on children's faces, uh, toys, clothes, school supplies, uh, even furniture, like desks and chairs. Yes. It's been uh, great to see all the donations from mothers and dads and grandparents and just anybody that helps take care of the children that we love. It's It's been awesome. You know which part I like about Never Hungry Saskatoon Kids? The birthday cakes. Ah, uh, yes. That's another <laughs> great part of it. Um, we, we have a wonderful lady that made cakes for children free it yes. was her own cost yeah and uh, sh she made beautiful cakes and tons dozens of cakes for for many children yeah she's a busy lady and so talented before we run out of time I want you to tell us about the seniors food distribution so what do you go to seniors homes like how does that work so with that um, the senior distribution program we have had a couple companies in Saskatoon donate 
pre-packaged frozen oh, dinners. Yes. So all they had to do was simply warm up the meal. And then Bo and other people delivered it uh, to the individuals in need. And with that, we are coordinating an event to have all of the seniors and the children mm -hmm. uh, just sort of get together and talk and share some quality time. Yeah. We've found that the seniors are really interested in that. Oh, yes. It's so intergenerational because the laughter of kids always makes the seniors happy. Mm -hmm. They love that connection. You know, and I am so grateful that we got to spend time to find out a little bit about what you do and make a call to the community and say, hey, we're going back to school. For, do not forget that there are those without. Mm -hmm. Reach out to Never Hungry Saskatoon. They are on Facebook. Everybody access Facebook. So it's an easy way to find them. And what I like about Never Hungry Saskatoon is the accountability. I can speak for that because I think ever since we've been part of Never Hungry Saskatoon in one way or the other, we have never felt, oh, somebody's just doing this for their self gay. It's, there's always been some accountability. And we thank you for that in the times we're living in. Thank you for making time to come and have a conversation with us today. We really appreciate you. And as we wrap this conversation today, we thank you and say, Building a support network within your community is not just about receiving help, but creating a fabric of care that strengthens the entire community. In times of challenge, a united community stands resilient and supportive, proving that together we can overcome any obstacle. That's a wrap for today. Remember to like, share, subscribe, follow us on all our social media platforms to keep the conversation going. Thank you for joining us on Conversations. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you and yours. Shalom. <laughs>